Welcome. This is Shakti, and I'm an online astrologer. I live on Maui, so I invite you uh, over here for a little visit. And uh, I have been an astrologer for 35 years and a gemstone lover and jeweler for 33 years. So I always try to combine those two areas of my passions and expertise. I've even written a book about it and created something which is called the Gemstone Profile, where it's really about your astrologically uh, relevant healing gemstones. So uh, today I uh, want to talk about one of the true birthstones related to Aries, and that is the garnet. So the garnet is a stone which can uh, appear in all colors of the rainbow. And the one I would relate to Aries is the red one, the dark blood red one. So it correlates with this area strength and quality. So I invite you over to my PowerPoint presentation to give you more specifics about uh, the garnet and how you can use it for yourself. And I always love to hear some feedback, how you like it, um, just your impressions. Otherwise, I have that feeling I'm talking to this empty screen here. So uh, it's, it's just nice to know there are people there. <laughs> looking at me and appreciating this. Okay, without further ado, I see you over there. Well, come over here, and uh, you might wonder why we all have this love for gemstones. And um, I think it has to do with those perfectly balanced light and color qualities they represent to us. So uh, because of their crystal structures, they're kind of perfectly balanced. So if we know which principle they're uh, carrying, then we can really help them to balance energy centers uh, in our body and get very specific with uh, that energetic balancing. So today I'm going to take you onto a journey into the mysterious world of healing gemstones and specifically one of the true birthstones for Aries and uh, monthly stone for March uh, and part of April, uh, which is the garnet. So one of the true birthstones uh, can be the garnet and uh, we will have a very specific discussion. The concept of birthstones is a marketing strategy of the jewelers. It just is another way to give you uh, something to identify with, to, to make it important that this is your stone you want to wear in, in a piece of jewelry. And as an astrologer, uh, the so-called official birthstone list, which actually they can't agree on, uh, so there are different lists out there, but uh, when I, as an astrologer, look at them, they don't really comply with astrological principles and signature. So, so my suggestion is you really forget about those and take the, the more specific look at your whole natal chart. And then you really know which are your true birthstones. The concept of birthstones, as you find them online or at jewelers' places, uh, relates to when you were born, under which uh, sun sign. And so uh, many people are born in a specific month, so it's really not very specific. So it gets more specific if we know uh, in which house your sun sign is, uh, how it's related with other planets in, in your birth chart. And then uh, we can know which is really your true birthstone. So today I want to uh, focus on one of the possible birthstones for Aries, which is the garnet, and it's a wonderful stone. So Aries is a sign which starts the astrological zodiac and uh, relates to the spring equinox. And it's a sign of fire, so it has this immense starting power, the warrior energy, the pioneer energy. So this uh, relates very much to the, the garnet and specifically the red garnet. 
And you might be surprised to hear that there is not only a red garnet, which relates very directly with the Aries uh, and Mars energy, but uh, garnet actually exists in all colors. So it represents a whole rainbow of colors. And with that, uh, connects to the different chakras in your body. And based on the, the color, the, the reflection, the crystal structure, the chemical composition, uh, all that makes up the, the signature of a gemstone. So here we could say the cosmic signature of garnet is Mars, Venus, Moon, Jupiter and Saturn. So these principles are reflected in the garnet and it of course depends on the color of the specific uh, stone uh, which planet it relates to. The metaphysical qualities of garnet in general are those of priestess, is what we call the artist, the wise woman in us, the energies of Mother Earth, the ability of self-love, and it helps to bring in the joy and activate that quality inside of us. The metaphysical qualities of the red garnet are connected with Mars and Saturn. So, so these aspects really are bringing out the, the qualities in us, uh, where we learn how to be really down to earth, where we are very practical oriented, where we really grounded in the three dimensional reality, the physical reality of life. Also, the red garnet represents the first chakra. And the first chakra has to do with uh, our life force energy, with our connection to Mother Earth, with uh, our ability to, to stand our ground, to defend ourselves. Uh, it has sexual energy, survival energy. So that's why the red garnet is, is a good stone to really get your energy rolling, to have enough physical energy uh, for all the project you, projects you want to do. Also because the first chakra connects us to, to the earth and the ground under our feet. So it's the earth spirit, the connection with earth spirit which gets strengthened by the red garnet. The green garnet is also called dematoid or sometimes diamond of the heart because actually it has a higher light reflection than we know it from the diamond. So it's a really uh, special stone and it invokes the uh, priestess, the artist, the wise woman. It has kind of a yellow undertone in the green, so it collect, connects the heart chakra to the solar plexus chakra. So it also really releases this artistic creative expression through the heart. And because it contains iron, it's also an energizer for the heart. And uh, it helps us to truly be uh, in our feelings and holds a full variety of possibilities we can feel through our heart. And when we allow that for ha to happen, then we can truly find that place in our heart of peace and happiness and a deep joy and self-understanding. Another favorite of mine, I actually did a lot of jewelry with while I was still working as a jeweler, is the golden garnet. And the golden garnet is really the stone which helps us celebrating life. So um, when we have affordable larger pieces of this variety, like here in the picture, then they become kind of more opaque and uh, have many uh, inclusions, which actually I think add character to the stone. So the golden garnet has very lively and interesting inner life. So, so with the rich color, it brings golden light, which represents the highest form of consciousness into the heart and uh, all the three upper chakras. So the heart 
is a seat of our highest capacity for self-love and unconditional love flowing out from us. This is where we experience spontaneous joy and, and where we have that sense of meaningful existence in life. So the experience of love often feels like we're expanding beyond our tiny little ego identity and, and beyond previous limitations and, and self-limiting identity. So um, Golden Garnet definitely helps you to tap into that internal well of love and creativity. And with that brings deep contentment and joy to you. Whatever colored garnet finds your way to you, it helps you to be more fully in the world. And it's helpful for manifestations of all kinds because of the Jupiter connection. And it's a very balancing and energizing stone. So it depends on the color to which chakra it relates. Because gemstones are uh, carrier frequencies and they pick up energies from handling along the way to, to end up with us, it's always important to do a little ritual of cleansing from those picked up energies so you really only have the energy of the stone you're working with. So I have done some other videos about cleansing. So basically you can do it with all the different uh, energies, water, fire, air, earth. And then the next step is that you program the gemstone of any kind you work with, with the added intention of what you want this stone to be for you and do for you. And from NLP and hypnotherapy, we know that anything can become an anchor for our conscious mind and unconscious mind. And gemstones are wonderful to use that way. I have two other videos out there about cleansing and programming. So if you want a little bit more guidance uh, about that, uh, you can go and check it out. And then if you're a real gemstone lover, you might want to consider to get my astrological gemstone profile report where I put together for you your main 14 healing gemstones based on the planetary positions of all the different planets in your chart. So these are your main healing stones. These are the stones I would suggest you start with to get familiar with and, and play around with. And especially if you want to have jewelry, these would be the first one I would look for uh, in a selection. In my book, Jewelry and Gemstones for Self-Discovery, I teach you how to find your gemstones and you get all the description of uh, most of the stones ever used in jewelry. Uh, but the gemstone profile is a printout where I do it for you. And uh, it's for the 10 classical planets, your moon nodes, your ascendant and your Chiron. So if that's of interest for you, go check it out at uh, juryandgemsforselfdiscovery.com or at my uh, astrology page, mauiastrologyreading.com. Either way, you can find out more about it. If you haven't done so yet, please sign up for your subscription for my videos if this is of interest for you. Uh, you can also sign up for my newsletter uh, and there you will get a free report. Uh, so you can get a little taste about uh, what your true birthstone, love stone is for your Venus position in your natal chart and you get your, your, astro your astrological birth chart. So I hope you enjoy it. Like me if you do. And I hope to see you another time. And as we say here on Maui, Aloha.